Yo, what's up? Bringing you that MLB the show. So the cover athlete for MLB the show 19 has just been announced and Bryce Harper will be bracing the cover. So there's no official cover yet because Bryce Harper is not technically signed with the team. But I think it would be pretty dope if Bryce Harper revealed, you know, whether he re-signs with the Nationals or a new team by showing an in-game image of MLB the show 19 and that jersey. Because right now the cover is a mystery and they're kind of playing along with that marketing with MLB The Show 19, you know, which team will he sign for? So I think that's the way they got to do it. They got to reveal, or he has to reveal which team he's going to be on with MLB The Show 19, and that's how everything's going to be announced. That would be the best way. But either way, Bryce Harper is the cover for MLB The Show 19. Let me know what you guys think about that, if you guys like that choice or not. Now let's go over some of the pre-order bonuses and some information. So the game releases March 26, 2019. So that's pretty much the same day, I believe, as 18 released. And I'm not sure if there's like an early edition copy that might drop, you know, like a couple days early. I think 18 had that. But now on to some of the pre-order bonuses. So this is pretty much anyone who gets MLB The Show. You'll get 10 standard packs and a goal player choice pack. So this year when you pre-order, you get a choice. You get to pick a goal player, one out of 30 players, which is pretty nice. And then if you pre-order through the PlayStation Store, you also get 5,000 stubs and MLB The Show 18 MVP flashback Bryce Harper. So by pre-ordering MLB The Show 19, you will get a flashback Bryce Harper. That hardware series card from 17, you get it in 18. So that's not bad right there for a pre-order. They kind of did this last year with Aaron Judge. You got a version of him. And then if you pre-order through GameStop, you get a gear up choice pack which I'm not 100% sure what that is right now. But moving on, here is a better look of all the editions. So this is just the standard edition. And this right here is just the pre-cover. This is not what the actual cover is going to look like because I'm pretty sure once he signs for a team, the cover will be updated. Either way, it's a fine cover. And if they did run with this, there's a lot of speculation on stuff that could happen maybe with Road to the Show or an offline or an online Road to the Show. Like, like that's a whole different type of thought process if they actually kept this as a cover and things that we could actually expect. But this cover right now is not set in stone. And then here is the actual pre-order bonuses. So we have the Digital Deluxe Edition. We have the Gone Yard Edition, which is a GameStop exclusive and the MVP edition. Both the Gone Yard and MVP editions are physical copies, and then the Digital Deluxe Edition is from the PlayStation Store. So going over all of these pre-orders right here, for the Digital Deluxe Edition, you get the full game, obviously, 15,000 stubs, one prestige gear up choice pack, a choice of one of 30 diamond flashback players. So just by pre-ordering the game, you get a diamond player, hopefully this year, because they're giving us a choice of up to 30 players to go from. There's some solid choices right there. You get a ball and as a habit pack, which is definitely pretty nice to start off the year, especially if you can pull a diamond out of that. Might see a few Mike Trouts out there on day one. You get 30 standard packs, which is always nice. 30 custom avatars and choose between one classic stadium. So it's nice that you get the chooser stadium. I'm hoping you get the chooser stadium. But either way, you get a classic stadium at the start of the year. And just to add on to that, I'm hoping there's new classic stadiums this year. Maybe like the kingdom or just some old time stadiums. Maybe like in the early 1900s, like some real old time classics. I would, I would like to see some of that. But now on to the Gone Yard Edition. This is once again a GameStop exclusive. You get the full game, an exclusive New Era Gone Yard Edition hat. The limited MVP edition, Gone Yard Steelbook, and then 15,000 stubs, one prestige gear up choice pack, a choice of one of 30 diamond flashbacks, 20 standard packs, 30 custom avatars, one diamond dynasty new era hat digital, and a classic stadium to choose from. And then the MVP edition is pretty much the same. You get the game, the limited edition Steelbook, 6,000 stubs, a prestige gear up choice pack, a choice of one of 30 diamond flashbacks, 10 standard packs. 30 custom avatars, and a classic stadium. So for someone that plays Diamond Dynasty a lot, I would say the digital deluxe version is the best one because of the amount of packs you get, the ball and as a habit pack you get, and like I said, if you get a diamond out of that, that's pretty nice. And pretty much that 
the MVP edition doesn't really offer that much. But if you do get the digital version of that, I believe you also get Bryce Harper for MLB The Show 18. And then the Gonyard edition is nice if you want the hat or even like the MVP one if you want the hat or the Steelbook edition. i rather just get the digital one because I'm going to be playing this game all year around. And if you want to see just the straight up digital versions, these are the same. So the standard edition will get you that MVP flashback, Bryce Harper, a gold player choice, 10 standard packs and 5,000 stubs. MVP edition is pretty much the same as the physical copy, but obviously you don't get the steel book and then the digital deluxe we already went over. Actually adding on to the digital deluxe edition in all digital versions, you get 5K stubs, the gold player choice card, 10 standard packs, and the MVP Bryce Harper. So the digital deluxe actually gets you 40 standard packs and then the ballin is a habit, the diamond choice, the gold choice, and 20k in stubs along with that mvp bryce harper so this is a very solid choice right here so once you pre-order mlb the show 19 and mlb the show 18 you get the bryce harper pack so we're just going to open this up and check out the stats of this card and just the base view they look really good it's a 95 overall diamond card has 103 contact versus righties 94 versus lefties 112 power versus righties and 83 versus lefties and 59 vision so really nice hitting stats, 125 discipline, has 70 fielding, 93 arm strength, 80 arm accuracy, and 75 reaction with 69 speed. So this is a very solid card for MLB The Show 18 that you get from pre-ordering MLB The Show 19. In addition to that, by pre-ordering the game, if you go to the November Time Limited Missions, collecting MVP Harper actually gets you some percentage towards this, I believe. Let me check real quick. So if you get 10 extra base hits with Bryce Harper, you get 60%, which definitely makes this a little bit easier. And by doing this, you get a finest pack. So that's pretty much it as far as the announcement for MLB The Show 19. Let me know what you guys think about all this stuff. If you like Bryce Harper being on the cover, I think it's a good choice. It's not who I expected it to be, but I definitely see the reason and behind it. And I guess the next thing is to find out where he ends up signing to. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.